I'm Barbara Vasquez, Automation Sales Engineer at Arstall. And today I'd like to show you how to lay out an intrinsically safe cabinet and how to install intrinsically safe circuits properly in both Zone 1 and Zone 2. For this video, we will assume that you have already completed your intrinsically safe loop verification and that all your field devices, barriers, junction boxes, etc. are appropriate for your hazardous locations and your ambient temperatures. With that out of the way, let's see what we need to consider when we combine several intrinsically safe loops in one cabinet. First up, you'll want your intrinsically safe cables, terminals, and glands to be easily identifiable. Light blue is the international color, or you could choose to clearly label them as intrinsically safe circuits. To ensure sufficient insulation space, maintain a minimum clearance of 6 mm between two intrinsically safe loops and 3 mm between any intrinsically safe loop and the ground. Make sure to use the right cable glands for your cable diameter and to close off all unused entries with certified plugs. A good practice when terminating cables is to use ferrules. This eliminates the possibility of a strand separation and keeps installation simple. Your fill enclosure must comply with the EXE requirements and also feature the appropriate IP rating, impact resistance and conductivity for the environment it will be used in. But what if you're going to combine intrinsically safe and non-intrinsically safe circuits in the same cabinet? A common arrangement with some things to look out for. It is important to keep the conducting parts of intrinsically safe and non-intrinsically safe circuits distant from each other. A clearance of 50 mm or more is considered safe as per IEC regulations. Intrinsically safe wires should be routed separately from wires that are intrinsically safe and all cables should be well organized. One last tip, adding an IP30 protective cover to your non-intrinsically safe terminals will make your fill enclosure safe to open for maintenance, even without powering down the circuit. Following these practices will help you rule out some of the most common errors for cabinets with intrinsically safe loops. But designing a cabinet for intrinsically safe loops can be even easier if you let us design it for you. Just get in touch. You can find our contact data in the video description. We're always happy to help. Have a great day.